Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from sunny Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be the narcissistic relationship. Was it wasted time? Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. So on the channel, I read each and every comment and I try my best to reply to everyone. And recently I've read many comments mentioning that people believe that their narcissistic relationship was wasted time. And I personally want to give you my take on this and let you know exactly what I think. So I'm going to jump right into it. The narcissistic relationship, I honestly believe it wasn't wasted time. And the reason why I believe that is because you, there are no coincidences on this planet. There just aren't. You're meant to be exactly where you are right now watching this video and very much thank you. I thank you for being here. But that's how it is with life. Like everything, you may think that you control many things on this planet called Earth and your circumstances and the direction, you can only control so much. And when you met the narcissist or maybe the narcissistic relationship was a mom, dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, whomever, coworker, you were in that position for a reason. Now I know it kind of sounds like tough love for you to understand that. Maybe you're like, no, Andrew, I don't believe that. I don't. You're entitled to believe whatever you want to. I'm just giving you my perspective. For me personally, as I mentioned, there are no coincidences ever. You're meant to be exactly where you are. And whether you, once you understand that, embrace it, and actually really play that again, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. The narcissistic relationship, it wasn't wasted time because it took you to this point in time right here, this exact moment. Wherever you are on the planet, whatever you're doing, if you're listening to this or if you're watching the video, this is where you're supposed to be. It's where you're meant to be. It's all of the culmination of the circumstances of your involvement on this planet that led up to this exact moment. Think about that. It's real. It's true. So I don't believe the narcissistic relationship was a waste of time at all. I believe what it was was a massive, absolutely huge learning experience. Yes, during the relationship, there were virtually every day you were having to struggle and go through things such as gaslighting, triangulation, invalidated, stonewalling, not being talked to, dealing with the rage fits, the mood swings, just thinking you were not really thinking it was you many times. You were thinking that like, am I right here? Is everything going, like, am I contributing? Remember, that's how the narcissist wants you. They want you in the fog. They want your head spinning. They want you subservient to them. They want to put themselves high on the pedestal, diminish you, devalue you, invalidate you, make you feel less than, but they want to keep you in the fog for as long as you are willing to tolerate it. That is the key to the, the manipulative tactics of the narcissist. So let's say you were in a romantic relationship. Did they love bomb you? Yes, they did. But did, how long did that love bomb stage last? If you're honest with yourself, you'll say, you know, it probably lasted about, I don't know, two months, maybe two to six months is, is, a, is a fair ballpark, maybe shorter for some people. But the point is, is that was strategic on the part of the narcissist to ensnare you in their web of lies, destruction, manipulation, deceit, and evilness. The narcissist is an insidious creature. But why am I saying that the relationship wasn't wasted time then? You're probably wondering, what, what's that? What are, you, what are you saying here? I'm saying because you had to experience each and everything during the relationship to get to where you are now. You see, you couldn't have had the growth that you have if you didn't go through the narcissistic relationship. And again, you may say, well, Andrew, what do you mean? Like, I didn't want that growth. I, I would prefer to have been with a healthy individual so I didn't have to deal with all this nar narcissistic behavior and all the things I went through and all I sacrificed and all that I gave to the relationship. I didn't want to have to go through that. I understand completely. I really, really do. I didn't ask for it either, but that, that's exactly where the, the chips fell and that's exactly the relationship I, I found myself in and most certainly you did too because that's why you're on the channel. What I'm mentioning to you though is the relationship most likely for you is over and if it is, that's a good thing. If you're doing your healing work and your inner work and you're growing, you're becoming educated and enlightened and empowered, that means you're also becoming aware and awakened and it, what that means is you probably, if you're being honest with yourself, you would actually say, if you've come through the fire this is, you would probably say, yeah, you didn't want to go through the, the, that relationship. You didn't want to have to endure everything you did, but you did it and you came out such a stronger person. You're galvanized. You're not the person you were pre-narcissistic relationship. It's impossible. You're so much stronger now. You're so much more awakened and aware. And yes, you experience some of the most difficult trying times post-narcissistic discard or ending of the relationship that anybody has ever endured on the planet. People equate the narcissistic relationship 
as being one of the most difficult things you will ever experience on the planet. And I do mean that, and I can say that with confidence. Do I have experience in other, experiencing other nasty things on the planet? No, and I don't want to experience them. A narcissistic relationship is more than enough for me. Thank you. But was it wasted time? I honestly don't believe it was. I don't believe one second of it was. Because in my situation, what I did is I continued throughout the whole relationship from its inception up until the ending of the exact date and time. I continued to make my relationship as strong and solid and contribute to the relationship, not just to the narcissist, but to the extended family, to many families, to friends, to neighbors, to teachers, to virtually everybody I possibly could. And I did a damn good job, I will tell you right now. I honestly don't know many people that if you're in the situation that I'm describing right now, meaning you're in a narcissistic romantic relationship, I'm sure you gave your heart, you gave your soul, you gave everything you had. And you can hold your head high if you did, and so you can say exactly the words I said. I did a damn good job, because I know I did. Now I wanna say something. Throughout the relationship, when you're with the narcissist, you may not think that you're doing a good job, even though your core, your being, your, your, your butterflies inside your stomach, they're telling you you're doing fine. But your head isn't telling you that. Your head is, is wondering. Because remember, you're in the fog and you're not being reassured by the narcissist. And many times you're not being assured by anybody, which means extended family members, flying monkeys, whomever. They're not going to give you the pat on the back and say, hey, good job. Uh, thank you. You're doing a great job. And this is, I appreciate your time and all that. Some will. Many won't. The narcissist certainly won't. Remember, the narcissist wanted to tear you down. They wanted, they looked for you, found you, sank their dirty fangs into you during the love bomb extracted all the goodness from you throughout the whole relationship, discarded you, and rinse, wash, repeat. That's what they do. So getting back on track, was, was, the, was the time wasted? No, it wasn't, because throughout the relationship, you didn't waste time. You kept on working. Yes, you were on the hamster wheel. Yes, you were spinning around. Yes, you were in the fog. Yes, you did not know how much more you could give, but yet you found ways. This, it, this entails financial resources. Again, like I mentioned, I'm sure you contributed finances, looks, money, energy, your time, your empathy, your love, patience is a huge one. All of these things you, you gave unwillingly, sorry, you gave willingly of yourself to the narcissist and to the relationship and to maybe to many extended family and, and friends. Why? Because it's what you wanted to do. It's what you thought your life's purpose was. It's the relationship you were building. However, we now know that you were with a narcissist and they didn't care about anything that had to do with you that did not involve them benefiting from it. Hence, when the narcissistic relationship ended and or if you were discarded, that's why there's no cup of coffee to sit down and talk like adults and say, hey, you know, I think we should do this, this, that. No, they just discard you right off into the, into the moonlight and are destroying other people's lives right now. But like I'm saying, I don't believe for a second and I never have, sincerely, that I wasted any time in the narcissistic relationship. It's made me a such a different person. It's opened up doors for me that I can't even explain. Meaning, my confidence level is sky high. My value, I know exactly what it is. Discovering exactly some childhood issues that I had to heal. Like I mentioned on previous videos that my mother's death, I never fully grieved that. I had to go through that. I experienced the dark night of the soul. I had to find myself. I had to fight for myself. I had to do this alone, isolated, during C19 without family, friends, without virtually anybody but myself and YouTube. And I did it, and I'm here, and you are here now too. So again, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I don't believe there are any coincidences whatsoever on this planet. You're meant to be exactly where you are each and every moment. You can control the direction of your life and where you want to go and who you spend your time with and all. You can control how you spend your time during the day, but again, that's where you're meant to be. Really think about that because it's completely true. If you can understand that and fully embrace that concept, you will be so much further ahead than most people. You see, most people on the, on the planet believe that they control every single thing about them. They don't. Can you control people's emotions? Can you control what people think? Can you control how people behave or act? You can't. The only thing you can control is yourself. Really think about that. So no, the narcissistic relationship was not wasted time. I honestly don't believe one second of it was. Was it a relationship full of manipulation, lies, deceit, destruction, heartbreak, ruin? Absolutely. Was it, also, was it also a discovery of myself, inner work, growth, healing, value, progress, resilience, insight, fortitude, strength, commitment, determination? The list goes on and on. Yes, the positive adjectives massively outweigh the negative adjectives. They do. 
if you want to get your pen and paper out and write down the good and the, and the bad list, the pros and cons that we mentioned on the channel many times, go ahead and do it. Sincerely, there are times throughout the relationship that you really thought you couldn't give another bit of your energy. You really couldn't because you felt you were getting drained, depleted, and you couldn't figure out why the narcissist was not reciprocating. Now we know. Despite all that, and despite everything you've come through, you've, you've endured throughout the relationship, you've come through the fire, you've understood exactly how powerful you are. You understand exactly what the narcissist saw in you. You understand that you had to do healing work. You had to process it. You had to grow to learn, to educate yourself, and in my case, many others. The whole idea is you are resilient, you're beautiful, you're loved. You are now so much stronger if you've come through the fire than you ever thought you would be. These aren't just words, these are facts. If you're ever wondering exactly what I'm talking about, I'm telling you right now, go back to March 31st, my first video ever I, that I ever created. Compare that version of Andrew to the version you're looking at right now. This isn't me taking acting class and trying to figure out, yes, I, need, I needed to, to do things. <laughs> no, this is real life. This is the documentation of my path that I'm sharing with you, and I'm grateful to have all of you along for the ride. And I am very, very grateful to read each and every comment about your paths and about the direction you're going in. And I absolutely love, I love it, and my heart melts when I hear enduring, enduring messages of people's inspirational and insightful growth of blocking the narcissist for two and a half years or seven weeks or continuing to, to not maintain, I mean, to maintain boundaries and not accept Hoover's, things like that. These are empowering things. These are life-changing things that you're doing for yourself. See, these are the things you are meant to be doing, and you wouldn't be doing them if you did not go through the narcissistic relationship. So guys, that's it for the video. I just wanted to let you know that I personally don't believe any time on this planet is wasted. I really don't. I sincerely believe that you are more powerful than you know. You have such beautiful days ahead of you. You have so much growth. You have so much to offer the planet and those beautiful loved ones that you surround yourself with. So if you can spin it, if, and you may not agree with everything I'm saying here, that's totally fine. Drop comments below, do what you need to do. I will read them and I will comment. I just wanna let you know where I'm coming from. There is not a day that you're on this planet that ever was wasted, that's how I feel. There wasn't one day in the narcissistic relationship that was wasted, again, that's how I feel. Because you brought light to anybody you were around throughout that narcissistic relationship. Many times what we do is we focus on the narcissist in the narcissistic relationship, and yes, we should, but there are already, there are all also many other variables that you can talk about, meaning the extended family members, the friends, the, the acquaintances, and things like that. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon. Be blessed. Stay strong. Stay on the path. Understand that from my perspective, there, there shouldn't be one wasted moment on this planet. There really shouldn't. And the narcissistic relationship, whether you're in it now or you're out of it, should be no different. It was a learning experience, something that we had to go through. We didn't ask for it, but now we're part of the tribe. Now we're galvanized. Now we are so much stronger, enlightened, and aware than we ever could be possibly. I love you all. God bless you. I will shoot another video in the afternoon. Stay, stay strong and have a great, great day. Bye-bye.